So Tom, aside from Asian ingredients, have you experimented with East African ingredients at all? Not so much East African, but all mm -hmm. over the map. You know, yeah. my center of gravity has been the Pike Place market for eons now. Mm -hmm. And so the Mexican market, right? De Laurentiis yeah. for Italian and Greek and, and uh, the souk for Indian. Yeah. And so it's so fun to come to this place, Amy's, yeah. and see this really, this Ethiopian thing going on, which I don't know much about. <laughs> yeah, and I don't either. So today uh, we have invited um, Amy's owner, uh, Miss Judy, to kind of give us a run over of the different types of ingredients okay. and how it's used in, in everyday cooking. Um, I know that Amy's Mikado is one of the more popular uh, markets that they have here in the Central District and it's frequent by a lot of Ethiopians and Somalians to get their home ingredients. So um, this, looks, a, this looks really interesting. I want I know. more of that. Exactly. So, so we'll bring Judy on. Where's Judy? Is she here? Um, this is uh, what we call barbere, which is uh, our main spice. Mm -hmm. it, it is basically it's chili, uh, but it is mixed up with uh, some other spices um, like garlic, ginger, and etc. So it is hot and at the same time have a, a different taste. Mm -hmm. So how do you eat it then? So uh, this is dry. Do you have to mix it with water, or how do you reconstitute this? Uh, there is two ways to do it. One, if you want, it, if you want to prepare it way ahead of time, you can uh, mix it and put it in a jar. Which is when I say mix it, put the water, make it like a paste, but not very liquidy. Mm -hmm. And then whatever dish that you're cooking, if you require a spaghetti, you take uh, how, however how much you want, like a tablespoon or two tablespoons mm -hmm. of how you want it. And uh, about I would say about 90% of our food we always first roast red pepper, uh, garlic, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, uh, garlic and uh, red onion and ginger. And after we roast all that, we add the pepper. Ah. Then if it is chicken or uh, beef, it follows after mm -hmm. that. And it's it always kind of kicking spicy, or can you make it somehow not quite as, it as hot? It is spicy, but you, 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 you can do it as your choice because the more you put this, it's the hotter it's going to okay. get. Uh -huh. Yes. I like the idea of when they mix it with wine and, exactly. and olive oil. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That one is called awaze, which mm -hmm. is a mix of the barbere, and you can uh, make a paste. Like I say, uh, there's a lot of ways to do it. Mm -hmm. and it, it it's pretty good taste, and that one you use like as a paste on a side. You don't need really okay. it. Okay. Yes. And would you serve it more with like poultry or with meat or vegetables? Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. With, with anything? It was anything. Our food is very spicy and, and uh, most of the time hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever a dish you use it is always going to say, you know, use barbere or use garlic or ginger or something like that. Wow. Now you're famous for your uh, injera, right? Yes. And so is that served with every meal? If, if, if I can grab this one right here. So it's just this beautiful barley uh, steam bread. Yes, this we have two types of injera. One is uh, the hundred percent tef, uh -huh. which is gluten free. Mm -hmm. And uh, but basically, this is the one that we've been eating, especially here in the United States. Mm -hmm. For some reason, the tef by itself was not. We couldn't get it perfectly right mm -hmm. for years and years. So. Uh, this is not really common back home, you know, that, the tip one is very common back uh -huh. home. Oh, when I've had this in an Ethiopian restaurant, I remember it being white. Do you also make it with white flour? Uh, yes, I think what makes it white is because this has uh, some uh, self rising flour. Mm -hmm. So some bakers, if they put more self rising flour, it's going to be more white. Okay, uh -huh. I see. Yeah, so this has more tape. Yeah. It's only a small part of the other part. I think we should. I think yeah. so too. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah. how spongy it feels. And, and when you grab this bread, we're going to just take one of these out of here mm -hmm. and maybe set this down over here. But when you grab it, mm -hmm. I mean, you just feel that. It's so yeah. beautiful. It is soft. And um, go ahead. But usually, what we do is we have this, uh, we eat traditionally mm -hmm. back home, the whole family eats together mm -hmm. in a big like this one. Yeah. So you have this on the top of the tray uh -huh. and then you spray the food on the top of that. So this is like your stencils also. You, you, you wow. wrap your food with mm -hmm. that and you, and and it you eat with your also, hands, right? Yeah, yeah. and yeah. it also soaks up all the right. flavors mm -hmm. and so forth. Right. Where it's right. very spongy. My kids would love this. I know, exactly. I know, just give it to them <laughs> and peel it off and eat. <laughs> 
Mm. Is there yeast in there? No. No, no yeast. yeast. No yeast. Very good. Wow. Good fun, and it has a nice sour tang to it. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Uh, the, or, the closest American bread that I can think is a sourdough bread. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the closest bread. Yeah, but sourdough could be, you know, right. yeah, hard and crusty. Hard and because it has yeast also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So could you explain to me, you said that many of these things are here because the Ethiopians fast two times a week? Um, the majority Ethiopian Christians are Orthodox, mm -hmm. which is like a Greek Orthodox, Russian Orthodox. And uh, don't eat any uh, dairy, any meat on Fridays and Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. wow. um, so they stay away from foods, well, from meat, but this is what basically we eat. This is very common. This is a, a, a brown chippy with mixed with uh, hot pepper mm -hmm. and huh? along with other spices. And so how delicious. would you prepare that? This one? This yeah. is a food by itself. All oh, you okay. need is onion and garlic and salt with this one. And, uh, and then, of course, we have uh, an, a butter, Ethiopian butter, mm -hmm. which is we call uh, kibbe, which is clarified butter. Mm -hmm. It is unsalted butter, we clarify it and we put uh, all kinds of spices wow. in there. <laughs> like the Indian ghee, same idea, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Huh? yes. yes. Hmm. I think everything tastes better with butter, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Love it. Well, your store is beautiful. Thank you. I understand you're going to make us some coffee? Yes, yes. I'm going to show you the, the ceremony mm -hmm. and, and I hope you're ready for a strong coffee. Yes, <laughs> we are. I Thank am. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.